There's some fish. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this, buddy. Man, oh yeah. Something done hit my gotcha plug. What is it, guys? Hey there. Thank you for joining me today at Fishing For Real. My name is Ken. Today I'm out on the Bob Sykes Fishing Bridge here in Pensacola, Florida. We've got Pensacola over here behind me. Pensacola Beach is over this way. It's uh, an old bridge that used to be the bridge between the Pensacola mainland and the bay out there, the island. It got wiped out by a hurricane. Now it's a fishing bridge. I'm going to put out some little bits of shrimp, see if I can catch some bait fish, put some bait fish on a big hook, see if I can catch a bait fish. Thanks for joining me. Let's get going and see what I can catch. All right, I got a piece of frozen greenback I caught off the Navarre Pier. I'll get started using it. I'm going to put it on this hook here. It ain't quite a big enough hook, I don't think, but I'm going to give it a try, right? Whatever. That'd be good. Right there, look at that. Nice little circle hook right in the, right in the meat. Right. Got a two ounce no roll sinker, Carolina rig. I don't know if you've ever casted many of these. This, uh, this is a bobber stop that keeps the bobber from running way up the line. So I mean, the, it's a sinker stop. I don't know how many of you guys use uh, Carolina rigs, but I just got a, a heavy swivel, plastic bead, two ounce no roll plastic bead. The plastic bead pretty much keeps this thing from sticking in the barrel of the the, the uh, sinker. This is a, uh, a sinker stop. It goes above the sinker. Keeps the sinker from running way up the line when you cast. Hopefully reduces tangles and such. Let's put this out here. Over there. I need some 30 pound braid. Let's see how that does. Alright, got another bottom rig here. I'm going to put a shrimp tail on it. Just ain't no telling what a fella might catch with a shrimp tail out here. Saw a fella down there just a second ago. Had a big drum, black drum. a few wraps of this magic thread on here <sighs> pitch it out and see what I get Let's put this piece of shrimp out over here. See if I can do any good. Just trying to catch a pinfish or something. I'm gonna put me a little one ounce pyramid on here. See if that'll help me get down there. You, know, you can come out here on this bridge and bring you some light gear if you got the family along. Oh, I could cast a little better too. Can't let it get on those oyster shells, though. They'll cut. They'll they'll cut that line like a razor blade. If you come down here and you're messing around where there's oysters, hi dog. I got me something already. Oh boy. If you're messing around where there's oysters, you don't know it by the fish, the oysters that you get in the store. 
but the oysters naturally growing in the wild their uh, edges are sharp as a razor blades they'll cut you to pieces dude there's a pinfish may be too big for bait though he's a big one pinfish bait fish later maybe something else that's good to use I've shown these in the past <clears throat> these little clip-on jingle bells and you can't always keep your eye on your rod if something hits those jingle bells you'll know it all right Like I said, kind of a, this is kind of a fish finder rig really with the sinker locked in place on a clip. I got that bead on there that just keeps me from reeling my swivel or my snap up into the rod tip. Better hit the bottom. Take this leg out. Let's see what happens. There's a hit. Some taps, tap, tapping. Yeah, buddy. Now he hit it with a, with a purpose. That dude hit that with a purpose. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Looks like another pinfish. Man, all right. Yeah, there it is. You got my hook, buddy. You gonna give me my hook back? You got a fat pinfish. Let me tell you, dude. This dude's chunky. There you go. Just went backwards a little bit and it came right out. I wasn't doing so great around the pilings of shrimp, so I thought I'd go over to the bay side and cast some lures. Close to dusk, for me at least, casting lures on this side of the bridge. I've hooked into some pretty good fish. A lot of Spanish mackerel cruising through. Give it a try. There's some fish. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this, buddy. Man, oh yeah. Something done hit my gotcha plug. What is it, guys? Yeah. Something hit it with a purpose. Come on, keep it still. Oh boy, look at them head shakes, dude. Anything but a shark, guys. Anything but a shark. I'm gaining on him. Cool beans. Let's see what it is. Come on, fella. You want to stay down. Come on, dude. Get away from that pier. Get away from... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, he ain't... In the pylon. I know it. Come on, walk, walk towards me. Walk towards me. Huh? Come on, I got you. Go that way. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. This way, this way, this way. You got to get on this side of this pylon. Come on. Uh, I thought he cut me, but he's still on there. Easy. Don't go swimming. That's all right, buddy. I get it. 
and cut that. Damn. Where's the pylon? Come on, walk, walk to this man. Walk to this man. Walk to He's coming. Don't grab that line, man. It'll cut you. It's braid. Walk, walk, walk that way. Walk that way. It's all right, buddy. Where? Go that way. There you go. There you go. Let it run. Let it run. Let's see what you got. Is it? I learned something this day. If you're going to be casting lures where there may be big fish, you need to be using yeah. heavy enough tackle. All that, all that Period. Unfortunately, this rig was really not up to the task of this fish. Well, let him get tired before I do, huh? I'm not Oh. I think it might be a big old black girl barreling down. Uh. Hey, you got a drop net here? Yeah, I do. Alright, hey, because once we get this one close, we're going to need it. We ain't pulling this thing. Oh, buddy, hey, dude. Come on, get tired, buddy. I feel it rubbing on something. Uh -uh, you good. Where's a pylon? I, I can see your line. Oh, okay. I can see it all the way through the pylon. No okay. As long as you keep going that way, I'm good. <sighs> keep him out of this pylon. He keep, whatever fish this is, is going to this pylon. I'm going to figure that out. Uh, we tried. Hey. What, the, what kind of braid you got on there? Uh, I think this is a no. This is probably just twenty. Twenty. Yeah, it was just a gotcha plug. I use it for you know uh, mackerel. Yeah. But he hit that whatever that was. He. What'd you have on it? Uh, a just gotcha. gotcha. Oops. Yeah, just a gotcha plug. That's what I just had on my. That's what I'm playing with that four foot rod with. Go ahead, keep it. <laughs> I just cast it straight out over there. I've seen mackerel come through here in the evenings, but. There we go. Cut it right at the knot, didn't he? I was walking over here to do the exact same thing with a gotcha. Well, you better try again. Maybe get my gotcha, gotcha back. Try something a little heavier this time. He wanted to go out to the Gulf, though, I'm afraid. Man. The fun part about fishing off of Bob Sykes really is, especially in the evening on the bay side like this, you just never know what you could get. I've had a lot of small-ish Spanish mackerel hit me, and as you just saw a minute ago, something very large hit my plug. I don't know to this day what it was. They speculated it was a bull shark or a uh, king mackerel. Don't know. It was still fun.